all right my dear so in this video tutorial you are going to learn about spring and uh, of course its types as well as uh, how it is related to stiffness okay because uh, all this video is for only mechanical engineers and uh, those are studying about a spring so i will talk a little bit advanced as well as basic so basically what is spring it is just like acting as a reservoir you can say because it store uh, it's store energy store energy right and then release release slowly or rapidly okay so let me give you an example probably you have seen lip spring we use this spring uh, just below of the chassis of a heavy vehicle okay just like a truck okay so why we use this leaf spring in truck if you have studied automobile engineering then probably you have heard about leaf spring okay if you don't know then you can ask any mechanic he can explain you and show you what is exactly it because without seeing things you cannot understand properly and he can make you understand each and everything about it so actually my uh, this video is not for making you understand about leaf spring that you can easily understand from anyone this video is for uh, for helping you to uh, you know to have basic knowledge as well as very good approach to solve numerical problems related to spring okay so uh, we why the question is here why we use leaf spring okay so basically you know uh, if truck is moving on a road and you cannot say basically i am from india so you cannot say uh, when the truck will face the truck will face jerk because of the road condition and to if if jerk will be too much then probably it may damage the chassis so that is the reason to avoid damage to the chassis we used leaf spring, spring or coil spring even that would be depend on vehicle to vehicle okay but most of the time for heavy vehicle we used leaf spring okay that's why i have given you this example okay probably we have seen like this okay uh, like this you have seen this the diagram for leaf spring you have seen such type of uh, arrangement just below of the chassis and uh, don't uh, don't you don't to even see truck you can see in pickup also okay so that is about a spring now if you are studying you know uh, in engineering level then you need to understand a uh, little bit in depth concept just like you know helix and uh, helix angle you must say what is helix angle actually helix angle is denoted by alpha and uh, it helps us to classify spring so basically if you're talking about the types of spring there are two types of spring one is open coil spring and another one is closed coil spring open coil spring and closed coil spring if it is less than if it is less than equal to 10 degree if helix angle is less than equal to 10 degree then it is known as closed coil spring if it is greater than greater than 10 degree then 10 degree then it is known as open coil spring okay now if you're talking about uh, uh, actually which spring is most important for you right so then i will say close spring is really most important for you okay so we'll go through few formulas of closed spring but let me share with you one of the thing which is really most important that is known as stiffness stiffness is most important and play most important role for finding out you know uh, finding out numerical problems if you have studied mechanical vibration in short mv then you need to understand about stiffness because uh, you know without uh, yeah one of the concept i need to share with you that is uh, uh, the arrangement of spring you can say that arrangement 
of spring so there are two ways we can arrange spring one is parallel and another one is series probably you have studied about you know parallel and series concept in plus 2 uh, yeah 11 uh, 12th maybe for conduction uh, conduct uh, capacitance as well as not conduction capacitance as well as resistance well if you have studied about uh, uh, most probably you haven't studied about hmt we also have this concept parallel and series now if two springs and parallel suppose that uh, we have uh, stiffness k1 and this is stiffness k2 right so this is mass so if two stiffness are parallel to each other then what we do equivalent stiffness is equal to k1 plus k2 now this is for the case of, of parallel now for what will happen for series that you need to understand suppose that this is a fix and one and two and this is mass k1 and k2 two stiffness are here so if i wanted to find out that it only one stiffness that is uh, k equivalent then what should i do that is important so for finding out in the case of series what we have to do we have to do just like this k e is equal to k1 by k2 so after calculation what we are going to get here k1 k2 k1 plus k2 so k e is equal to we can write k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 so this is the this is all about you know stiffness of the spring and their arrangement okay now uh, one of the most important thing i would like to share with you so what happened most of the time they relate spring with strain energy and sometime with torsion also i don't know you have studied this subject in strength of material or not but these two things they can relate with the spring okay so i will share with you in my next upcoming videos how they are relating and how to solve numerical problems related to it that's why you will not face any problem okay so now most important thing most important thing right now i would like to share with you the unit of the stiffness what is the unit of k which is we denote for stiffness right can you guess how you can find out unit for a stiffness if not or maybe you can find out i don't know you can find out or not but i'm sure i'm going to share with you how to find out unit of stiffness quite easily all right so what are you looking for would you like to know the how to find out the stiffness of a spring or not i am sure you wanted to know right so let's go for it yeah so we are talking about the stiffness of a spring which is denoted by k so basically we know stiffness is equal to force by deflection delta you know delta x you can say k is equal to f by deflection we have a formula about it so what will happen you know force is denoted by newton and deflection that means some kind of distance let me share with you how i am sharing like this suppose that we are having a beam right and we are putting load here w newton and because of this load the beam is bending like this and this distance is known as deflection most of the time we denote this deflection as delta x that's why it is it is in meter only so if we are taking in si so the unit of stiffness is in newton per meter right if you are studying mechanical vibration then we have different formulas to find out its unit okay uh, yeah but unit is same for all the subject by the way yeah you must uh, remember that so this is all about you know spring and all that but if you're talking about closed spring then we have couple of formulas those are really important and play most important role for the competition examination okay just like you know if you wanted to find out spring index spring index is equal to d by d okay so spring index what is spring index basically you know suppose that we are having a spring 
there are two types of diameter we are having right now the diameter of this uh, this spring and diameter of this one this coil so this is known as d and this coil is known as small d so this is how you can uh, find out spring index right now other than this one we are having another formula that is you know uh, that i must say that yeah other than this we are having i must say that that which one formula is that that is deflection of spring okay so deflection here we always you know delta x will denote like this okay sometimes you also denote as delta okay so this is about as uh, deflection of spring right so what we can uh I mean what, what formula we have right now to find out deflection of a spring that is 8f spring index uh, q 8f s q and and then by gd this is the formula for finding out deflection of spring so basically what is g g is modulus of rigidity that is I hope you know what is it? shear stress by shear strain. I think so. Yeah, shear stress definitely shear stress by shear. So this is a shear stress by shear strain. Yeah. Now what is D? D is coil diameter of the coil. What is N? And you know that number of turns. This is number of turns you can say. Okay. And S the spring index is I am denoted here as S and F is applied load or you can say force okay so this is how uh, you know this is all about spring and uh, its uh, you know deflection now if you, had, you wanted to find out stiffness of a spring in another way we are having different formula also to find out stiffness of spring so as i have already shared with you is deflection is equal to what k is equal to force by deflection now we are having now relate this like let me write here also so k is equal to delta x by f no sorry f by delta x because newton permitted its unit is now relate these two formulas how we can find out how we can find out stiffness from this formula if this is simple right so what we have to do we have to do it like this because delta x is equal to gd gd by 8 sqn so we can say that delta x is equal to gd 8 sorry uh, sqn this is the formula for finding out uh, sorry uh, delta x is equal to this okay now f or i mean this should be k k is equal to like this okay because we have given delta x already so k is equal to gd 8 sqn so this is how you can find out a stiffness a stiffness of a spring by comparing these two formula okay so this is all about spring in the i mean spring open coil spring closed coil spring and all types of spring and things we can use to find out numerical problems and understanding basic concept of spring all right I hope you understand something from this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.